Hi, hi, it's Judy Barb. Welcome to the Live Best Kitchen. I'm the author of your six week guide to live best, simple solutions for fresh food and well being. And today I'm going to make some fresh food. Um, I'm going to make a tzatziki sauce, which is um, a sauce used in Greek cooking and Middle Eastern cooking. Um, it's it's really delicious. It's based with yogurt and um, and shredded cucumber. So super simple to make, but um, it's delicious on um, on roasted chicken, scooped up with a warm pita bread. I love to drizzle it over cooked beets. Uh, use it as a dip with carrots and with sugar snap peas. And, um, and I've put it on meatballs. I mean, it's so versatile. So I um, wanted to share that with you. And I'm sharing it live with Patty and Kathy. Hi guys, thanks for, for tuning in today. So this recipe starts with a plain Greek style yogurt. And if you wanna make your own yogurt, it's super simple. I have a recipe on the website, a DIY homemade yogurt at livebest.info. But we want a, a, a strained yogurt and we want plain flavor. So I'm gonna bring the camera down just a little bit to show you my, my yogurt. I already have it in a bowl. I have about one and a half to two cups of yogurt. And to that, I've added shredded cucumber. I just use my um, large holes on my, on my grater, take half of a cucumber and literally just shred it. Now, cucumber is a really juicy fruit. It's got a lot of water in it. And so what we wanna do once we've shredded the yogurt is just take a paper towel or two and pile in the shredded cucumber, take it over to the sink and squeeze it out. So you drain a lot of the water out. Because it is such a watery vegetable, if you don't do that, then you're going to get a pretty watery dip or spread. And I don't really like that. So I've already, squeezed the moisture out of this shredded um, cucumber. And I used about um, half of a large cucumber. So I have about, about a cup of shredded cucumber. I leave the skin on. I like the texture it provides and I like um, the color. If you wanna peel a little bit of it, you can do that. You can also seed it if you have really large seeds. They don't bother me, so I just leave them in. So to that, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on a little bit later, so I'm saving back some of my olive oil. I'm putting on about a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter to a half a teaspoon of dried dill. Now, if you have fresh dill, you can use it, um, but I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of dried. So those are quarter cup measures and I'm doubling that. The other thing that I really like to add to this is fresh mint and parsley. Now, if you don't have that, you don't really need it, but I still have some left over in the garden, so I'm gonna toss that in. I have both parsley and mint that I'm adding. I really love the flavor. But again, if you don't have that in your fridge, no need to run out just to buy a, a package of mint. So I just pull the stems right off, pull the leaves right off the stems and give it a chop with my chef's knife. Now, a sharp knife is really important here because if you're leaving green smudge on your cutting board, you're leaving a lot of the flavor and you're leaving a lot of the, the benefits that the herbs give you. So you want a sharp knife and some dry herbs. Then you just run it through the herbs to get a coarse chop. So there's a little bit more parsley. And then the recipe calls for a little bit of lemon juice. And I just um, cut a, a fresh lemon in half. I'm gonna give it a squeeze. I'll do that over my hand just to capture any seeds that you might, might otherwise capture or lose out of the, the lemon half. There, I got a seed. And there we go. There's our tzatziki sauce. I think the hardest thing about this is how to say it. So um, the T is silent. It's, it's kind of an unusual spelling. It's a Greek word, T-Z-A-T-Z-I-K-I, -I -I, but you say it tzatziki. However you say it, 
you're gonna call it delicious. So um, if you want more recipes, visit the website at livebest.info. But in the meantime, um, enjoy this and, and give, me a, give me a shout out if you've um, tried making it at home. Whenever I serve it, people love it, but I don't think they know how easy it is to make. You can buy it at the grocery store in, um, in the deli section or in the refrigerated section but it's so easy to make. And also, as you can see, it's pretty healthy, but shh, mom's the word on that. I don't think anybody's gonna say, oh my gosh, this screams healthy. I think what they're going to say is, wow, this is delicious. And I agree with that. So till next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.